This tree swallow is being carefully, temporarily borrowed from its box so that scientists can fit it with a backpack that will generate data about its dining habits. It's part of the flocks that live near ponds adjacent to the Iona Island Wastewater Treatment Plant in Richmond. Investigating how birds and insects use this land prior to any alterations of the site is very important to determine what the baseline conditions are. The transmitters are very light and they have a solar charging panel on the back. Oh, that was a good release. It's important that we understand what insects are hatching from these ponds and what birds are feeding on those insects. Receiving stations around the pond will track their food hunting travels here and there are more across North America. We'll be able to track their migration, know where they're going, when they arrive, how long they stay for. Metro Vancouver has been fantastic at reaching out to the community and scientists such as Birds Canada to seek their advice and their input into the design of the wastewater treatment plant and the redesign of the whole park here. Metro Vancouver Regional Parks Foundation were integral to this project. Um, they gave us some seed funding initially. Both insects and aerial insectivores, those birds that catch insects on the wing, for food uh, are declining in North America. And so it's important that we maintain these systems as best as we can.